Walking in the Light God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Genesis 1 verse 3 Ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord, walk as children of light. Ephesians 5 verse 8 St. Paul makes use of this passage in Genesis, when he says, That God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. He seems to go back in his experience to that remarkable vision on the road to Damascus, when the light shone, and he saw the face of the Lord Jesus. It was as though he had passed through the experience of chaos, while kicking against the goat of conviction, and at that moment, which he could never forget, God said, Let there be light. Looking up, he saw the light of the glory of God reflected in that dear face that looked down on him with ineffable love. It was life out of death, light replaced darkness, and peace chased away the last vestige of storm. This is ever the result and climax of the work in our hearts wrought by the Holy Spirit. He leads us out of darkness, he takes of the things of Christ and shows them unto us. His one aim is to glorify our Savior and to make him the Alpha and Omega of our faith as we walk in the light. When I was in Tasmania, I was shown a great mountain range on which was a vast lake, 52 miles in circumference. The overflow yielded a perennial waterfall of a thousand feet, the force of which was translated into electricity which made light and power cheap for great factories and for domestic needs. It seemed to me, as I thought about it, that the great sheet of water resembled the love of God, in its longing to help mankind, that the descending waterfall might be taken to illustrate the incarnation of our Savior, who was the sent one of the eternal trinity, and that the electric current, invisible but mighty, was typical of the Holy Spirit, who brings to our hearts the light and power of the divine nature. The lesson is obvious, that as the manufacturer or the scientist invents machinery to meet the conditions on which alone the electric current can do its work, so must we learn to adapt ourselves to receive and transmit the power and light of God, which comes to us through our union with Jesus. Let us pray. May the Holy Spirit keep us ever walking in the light of thy countenance. May he fill our hearts with the sense of thy nearness and loving fellowship. Order our steps in thy way, and then walk with us, for in thee is no darkness at all. Amen.